Alright, what's going on guys? It is your boy Havoc here. Today what I have for you is the top 5 screen recorders in my opinion. Now some of these that I do mention are specifically for recording gameplay and others are specifically for recording your computer screen. So keep that in mind. I'm actually going to start out from the top. So I'm going to start from the worst and work my way down to the best screen recorders in my opinion. So watch the entire video and hopefully you will find some that you enjoy. If this video does help you out, be sure to drop a like. Let's go for 250 likes and be sure to subscribe. I'm still on the road to 30,000 subscribers, so any help would be greatly appreciated. At number five, we have the program Smart Pixel. Now, all the programs that I do mention in this video, their download links will be in the description, so it'll be easy for you guys to find. So, one of the good things about this program, I would say, is that you can download it on any device. Windows, Android, or iOS. Now there are multiple reasons why I did not put Smart Pixel higher up on this list. Now that's due to the simple fact that every single recording that you take from this program has a watermark on it, so that in itself is pretty bad. A couple good things about this program that I would say is that you can record for an unlimited amount of time, and also for the fact that after you record something, you can edit it through this program, so that is pretty nice as well and in 1080p. One thing I would suggest is to automatically save your videos to your desktop so it's easier to find them. One last thing is that Smart Pixel saves your recordings as FLVs, so you're gonna have to go to a website, link in the description, to convert it to an MP4. So moving into number four, we have iSpring Free Cam. Now this program is very simple to use and that's one of the main reasons why I really like it. All you really have to do to get the free download, just go to the download link in the description, type in just a random email, it doesn't really have to be your email, and download it. One of the reasons why I really like this program is that you can easily capture what you really want to record, whether that be a small portion of your computer screen, the whole computer screen, or a certain game you might be playing, so it really does do it all iSpring FreeCam also has the ability for you to edit videos after you record them as well as even upload them to YouTube. So this program is super simple to use while having some pretty cool features. Moving on to number three, we have XSplit Broadcaster. Now, I personally use this, and that is what I'm using for this recording as well. All you really have to do is create different scenes. You can capture a certain game that you might be playing. You can capture the entire screen. All you really have to do is go to Tools and My Recordings to find basically all the recordings that you do on the program. and. That's, that's basically it. The only downside to this program is that it does not record at 1080p, but you do have unlimited recording time. Coming in at number two, we have Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Try saying that five times fast, but this program as well is pretty simple to use. Um, it's very, very nice program. The only downside to this, and it's not a huge issue, but it does have a limited time to record, five minutes to be exact, but it's not a huge issue because you can always record separate videos and clash them together in an editing program. Now it does automatically save your recordings to your desktop, so that's pretty nice, but the downside is that it does not save them as MP4, so I will put a download link to a conversion for you guys to easily convert these to MP4s. Last but not least, coming in at number one, we have the program OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. Now, in my opinion, this is probably the best program out there. Also, it's probably the most popular, not only because it can record screens, but it can also stream, so you can directly stream to Twitch or YouTube, which is pretty nice. It's super simple to use, adding webcam or audio, so if you have a microphone, you can add that. If you want to record gameplay, you can record just a certain program or game that you're playing, or you can record the entire screen if you want. So it's easy to add all of the different components to either a stream or a video, and you can basically edit it on the program more or less, because you can basically add all these different components to it uh, as well. So now one of the downsides to OBS is that it's not a simple program. I'm still trying to learn all of the different components, all the different settings that I can do, um, and it's, it's kind of difficult to learn how it all works. 
But anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please let me know down in the comments what tutorial you would like next. This is a reoccurring sort of series because I want to help you guys out starting on YouTube. And I'm pretty sure the next tutorial should be how to make an outro. But leave any suggestions down in the comments if this video did help you out. Be sure to drop a like. Join the Havoc Army. Please subscribe. And I will see you guys in future uploads and tutorials, hopefully. It's been your boy Havoc here, and I'm out. Peace.